Hello, welcome back to my sewing room. My name is Robin and I do sewing and crafting tutorials. But today I'm gonna to show you how to make this adorable little baby chick and these two adorable little eggs to go with it. Let's get started and I'll show you just how easy this is. Okay, to get started, I have this old um, day bed covering that I know that I no longer use because I don't have the day bed any longer but I kept this um, day bed quilt because I was just so pretty I love the fabric on both sides so I thought this would make a cute little baby chick so I'm thinking I'm going to use this side for the baby chick and this side for the eggs I think that will be so cute so I'm going to place I have my fabric folded so I have two pieces of fabric and I'm going to start on this side because this is where I want my baby chick. And I think I'm going to place it and place it right about there. Right there. And I'm going to use my friction pin to trace around it. There. Our bird is traced. And now we're going to leave an opening from here. I'm going to pin through both layers and right about here to make sure I can have room to get my hand in there to stuff it. So we're gonna start here, sew from here, 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 all the way around, stopping here so that we can stuff it later here. But before we head to the sewing machine, I wanna go ahead and trace out my eggs. I'm gonna go ahead and just trim this away. And now since I want my eggs to be this color, I'm going to Put this two layers together like that and trace two eggs. And then place a pen to leave an opening for stuffing. Okay, we're gonna leave an opening here for stuffing and an opening here. Start here, sew all the way around. Here, sew all the way around. Okay, let's head to the sewing machine and sew these up. Okay, we're gonna start here by this first pin. I'm gonna remove it. And I'm gonna line up my needle with the red dot and the red dot with the line that we drew. Do a fixed stitch or a back stitch and sew all the way around. And do needle stop down. Do a fixed stitch or a back stitch, and we're done right here. Okay, now we're gonna do the same thing with the egg. We're gonna start here, take out that needle, do a fixed stitch or a back stitch, and sew all the way to the other needle. Make sure you do needle stop down so you can go around the curves. Fixed stitch or a back stitch, and we're done. Now do the same thing with the other egg and meet me back at the cutting table. Okay, we finished sewing around the little baby chick and the two eggs. So now we're gonna take our pinking shears and we're gonna cut around, leaving about a half an inch of fabric all the way around. I think with this, it's so thick, I'm gonna cut one layer at a time. chicky cut off so cute now we'll cut out the eggs and I think it's easier to cut one layer at a time if that's easier for you because this is kind of thick so I'm just gonna do one layer at a time there now just cut out this the next egg the same way okay before we stuff the bird we're gonna do a quick iron to remove those markings. Okay, this one I, I'd like to trim a little closer. 
Okay, now we'll take some fiber fill and stuff our birds. I'm gonna put a little bit with my hemostat to get up into the, the beak. You wanna fill it to where you can still have room to come back in here and sew the, the, the opening closed. Now that you got it all the way filled, we're just going to close this up, push all this down. And just pin. Okay, and now we're just going to sew. We're gonna follow, start where we, where we ended, right here on that stitch line, and then follow it to this stitch line to close that up. Let's stuff our little eggs. And this is where these hemostats will come in very handy. And pin this. And then we're gonna sew that right there. And do the same thing with this egg. Okay, to get started, we're gonna start with our needle right here in the last stitch that we sewed right here so that we stay on the same stitch line. And I, as I'm sewing, I'm gonna press down right here on the stuffing so that it will flatten it out and make it easier to sew. Make sure you have needle stop down, do a fixed stitch or a back stitch. Just going to follow this around and meet up to where we started our stitching and just pressing down to make it easier to sew. Making sure I meet back up right here where we left off. Pressing down and doing a fix stitch or a back stitch at the end. We're done with a little chick. Okay, and we're gonna do the same thing with our little eggs. Move our needle, pressing down. We're gonna start where our stitches were right here where we left off sewing. Put our needle down right where we left off. Do a fix stitch or a back stitch. Do that to the other egg and meet me back at the cutting table. I'm gonna show you a cool way to display them. Okay, I found this little basket at Dollar Tree. Isn't it adorable for $1.25? And I like that I can move the handle down so that I can see the top of the basket. And I found this Easter grass at Dollar Tree also. I like this more muted green grass like that. And then you can set your little chicken in there with the two little Easter eggs. Isn't that adorable? Isn't that sweet? I just love it. What a cute little arrangement. We're all finished. Didn't that come out adorable? I just love it. It's so cute. So sweet and so easy. If you like this video, check out this video right here. I think you'll like it. Thank you so much for joining me today. Have a so blessed day. Bye for now.